Once in a distant time and place, a great pirate sailed the oceans. Against the waves of villainy, she alone defended all creatures tiny and adorable. Led by her spiritual mentor, William Bloodbeard, she fought the malevolent machinations of Baron Widebeard, who was a wrongan by all accounts. And now we join the fearsome Nelly Coutelot in the midst of a turbulent sea battle. Avast! I'll have ye licked, and now I'll send ye to the tumultuous depths. Nelly, stop talking to the stamps. Get back to work. I'm sick of working on the mail ship undeliverable. What kind of life is this for a fearsome pirate captain? But I suppose I better start cleaning. Mr. Johnson doesn't like the sorting room left messy. <sighs> the mop head looks like a dried out squid. Ugh, the water's all funny, like it's boiling. Captain Bloodbeard! It's my old mentor, Captain Bloodbeard. Nelly Coatalot, you have failed me. What are you on about? As if I have. Have you forgotten your last quest? Of course I remember. I saved all them spoon beaks, didn't I? Aye, but you missed a secret message written in pirate cold. Oh. It should have led you to the treasure of the Seventh Sea. But you gave the secret to Baron Widebeard. What's the Baron up to? I know not what he's plotting, but I foresee many innocent birds be perishing. Birds hate perishing! What can I do? Begin yonder. The Baron was lately in Port Rubicund. Follow Widebeard's trail and avert disaster. What's the treasure of the Seventh Sea? It'd be a priceless treasure the Baron has coveted all his life. Lost in the wreck of his ship, the sweet Mary. I should not say more. I meant to be haunting a house in New England. And now my time ends. Fare ye well. But... Go, Nelly. You must stop my treacherous brother. Wait! Since when is Baron Whitebeard his brother? That is one swinging lantern. It's not the kind of lantern you carry around. Water, water, everywhere. The ancient mariner's fate is why I lead an albatross-friendly lifestyle. It's a padded envelope, presumably for criminally insane letters. According to the tag, it's going to Port Rubicund. I'll take the tag. Ugh, so many stamps, so many letters, so many packages, so many paper cuts. I don't want to mess them up, I only just got them sorted. What a spacious looking crate. The label says it's going to the Dulwich Box Museum. Mine. That's Port Rubicund. It's too far to swim. And I don't like the look of those terrapins. They're made of burlap, which is a funny word. My stainless steel letter opener. I could use this to stab things. It's parcel tape, which I think is tape that can speak to snakes. Sticky sticky. That's so the postmaster can shout at me. Now the crate's going to Port Rubicund. I can't open it more than a crack. 
Let's see what a letter opener can do. It worked! But it twisted up the letter opener pretty badly. Whenever I'm going on holiday, I always think I've forgotten something. Well, let's give it a try. Now I remember. Air holes. I'd better do something. This might work. And now I wait in a state of constant readiness. This old hulk is so dreadfully squalid and damp, and my dress is fraying. I might as well put on a burlap sack. Are you even listening, Whitebeard? Hmm? No, oh, of course, of course, my little trebuchet. But my no-good brother's treasure is just over the horizon. Once it's ours, I will buy you all the burlap sacks you want. <laughs> But... You're right, my Iron Maiden. First things first. El Mono. Begin the incantation. Explain yourself, pirate. What have you done with my consignment of pen nibs? Um, nothing. There isn't a single pen nib in Port Rubicon, thanks to you. Do you realize what this means? You'll have to use pencils? Huh, I have my pride. She looks formidable. All right, newcomer, I need your name and occupation. Nellie Coutelot, adventurer. I don't like the sound of that. I could say it again in a Welsh accent. Please don't. Are you in charge? I am the Commodore. I catalogue everyone and everything that enters or leaves Port Rubicon, or I would if the dratted pen nibs had arrived. What's all this about pen nibs? Port Rubicon is experiencing the worst pen nib shortage these 40 years. It's utter, utter chaos. Evidently. I'm looking for Baron Widebeard. Well now, there was a Baron here. He was one of the runners of the blasted Toff races. What happened to him? If memory serves, he set sail in the Heartless yesterday. I'd better find out where the Baron is heading and give chase. Hold your horses. Have you taken the King's shilling? I never touched it. You can't prove nothing. I knew you weren't legitimate merchant navy. Unless you've taken the King's shilling, you can't sail from my port. Where was the Heartless bound? Hmm, can't recall. Don't you keep a log? Absolutely. The ledger is in my office. Can I have a look? Absolutely not. The office is closed because of the pen nib crisis. Can you give me the king's shilling? You? A purloiner of pen nibs? No officer would accept a brigand like you in the merchant navy. We'll see about that. What are the tough races? They're out of my jurisdiction over in that cave. Penniless aristocrats humiliating themselves in public. A vulgar entertainment for the lowest class of person. Sounds great. Goodbye, Commodore. Dismissed. Oi. Over here, my girl. What? What ship have you business with? The, uh, good ship. Um... Come off it. Unless you have business with a ship, stay off the boardwalk. I'd better find out where the Baron's gone. And if any ship is following him. The Commodore's locked it. I can't see through it. From here, at least. A wooden plank. Type B9, if I'm not mistaken. Slightly wider than the more common B10s. 
It's nice to collect things when you walk in on a beach. An honest sailor by the look of him. Who are you and what are you doing here? Jack Tar, and I'm just standing on the beach. Standing on the beach, eh? That's the life. Aye, it is. Yep. Seriously, why are you here? Well, uh, it's a little embarrassing. Come on, you can tell me, a fellow beach stander. Well, have you heard of Maritime Magazine? The nautical periodical? Of course. I'm going to be on the cover of the next issue. Well done, mate. Aye, except... Except... Um... Come on, Beachy's dandy. Tell me. They want me to do it with my shirt off. And? I... I, I don't have any chest hair. <laughs> uh, um, sorry, uh, I just remembered something funny that happened when I was... at a clown's funeral. Huh? Have you seen Baron Whitebeard? Describe him? Well, he's a baron. Yeah? With a very wide beard. I do know a Marquis with a very small beard. That's probably not him. What's the crack with the Toff races? Well, I'd stay away from there, miss. The folk in there are lacking in moral fiber. Don't worry about me. I'm chock full of moral fiber. Plus ethical multivitamins. Can you give me the king's shilling? No, miss. You need the top dude for that. Hm. Remind me, why won't you go shirtless? I told you before. No chest air, eh? Goodbye. Later. Let's put this plank here. Okay. Phew. Lucky I didn't fall. Whoop. <clears throat> Lucky that was there to break my fall. I've never been entirely clear what sails are for. I must have knocked these down when I fell in here. I'd better put them all back in the right place or the Commodore will go nuts. A rusty snaggletooth saw. I think that's an ads. 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 Ads, ads, ads. I've said it too many times. It sounds weird now. They're just old junk. A heavy looking horseshoe. You never know when you might need a big heavy horseshoe. I can drag the boards into the right place, but which one goes where? Let's check the logbook. assertion is in dock too, bound for the guttering howls. I must board it and follow the Baron. It looks a little loose. It's loose, but I can't get a grip.
What should I do with it? Aha! So, this is where the Commodore hides confiscated contraband. A bottle of sleeping pills. Van Winkle soporific compound. Just reading the label is making me sleepy. There's only one left in there. Probably should move that plank now. Over here, my girl. What? What ship have you business with? The wild assertion in Dock 2. She's bound for the guttering howls. <laughs> Cut along then. It's a dirt encrusted woolen fleece. I guess they use it to clean the ships. sparkly under the dirt. Reminds me of the Cutania, before she was stolen by that rotten cat burglar Trilby. I'll need something bigger to catch the Baron. It's the bosun of the wild assertion. Ahoy! Who goes there? Coot-a-lot, pirate. Okay by me, but keep your hands off my booty. Who are you? Gusty Nethers. That's an odd name. Well, I'm thinking of changing it. What to? Stormy Long Johns. <laughs> when do you sail? Today, my dear. First to the guttering howls. Then we follow the southern trade route. Tell me about the guttering howls. Oh, it's a strange and lonesome place, to be sure. The whole island is isolated by jagged rocks, and most of the folk who dwell there are lost souls, shipwrecked. Ooh. Also, there's a lot of birds. Ooh! Permission to come aboard? Ah, sorry, lass. Crewmen only. But I have to go to the guttering howls. Can I join your crew? Well, well there might be an opening for a cabin boy. I can't be a cabin boy. I'm a female woman. Nah, just dress up and pretend. What? Yeah, you can't beat a bit of naval transvestism. Naval transvestism? Cross-dressing is traditional at sea. Lord Nelson was actually a girl from Halifax. That would explain Kiss Me Hardy. Yeah. Although Hardy was actually Mandy. What uniform do I need? You need a stripy sailor's shirt, a little sailor's hat, and something to tie up your hair so you look like a bloke. Shirt, hat, bloke. Got it. Goodbye. Bye. A very dandy looking gannet. Hello. Are you a gannet? Call me Jeremy. Aren't you a sweet thing? I like to think I have a certain debonair charm. Is that your egg? Ah, yes. Little Hugo. Do you think he looks like me? A little bit. Do you know Baron Whitebeard? I don't fraternise with those reprobates at the races. I have to maintain my reputation, for Hugo's sake. Is your nest a sailor's hat? I prefer to call it a self-contained space offering maritime cranial solutions. But it is... A sailor's hat, yes. Can I borrow your nest? Out of the question, my dear. Where would little Hugo and I go? What if I found you somewhere else to live? Well, it would have to be somewhere pretty spectacular. This sailor's hat is near all the good schools. Of fish. I'll have a look around. See you around. Toodle pip. The 
There's a crow's nest above the crossbar. I wonder if this would make a good home for the gannet. What about a penthouse suite? Well now, that does sound rather... Spectacular views. No danger of into the sea kicking. What do you have in mind? The crow's nest over there. What do you say? Well, it's a deal. Would you mind helping us move? Okay. I hope they're comfortable in... in... wherever I'm carrying them. Oh yes, very spacious. And what views? So, can I have the hat? Of course. I advise you not to think about how much poo must be in it. Advice taken. I think it's too dirty to show him. It's soaked through with seawater. That won't get it clean. Could I borrow your shirt? Well, um, sorry, no. Please? I'm too embarrassed to be seen with my shirt off. If only my chest hair was thick and luxuriant like other sailors. Goodbye. Later. Habanera does it again. <laughs>